Oh! In Wellington. What is it called? Cafe Bradton. Bradton. All crepe. The vegetarian with ham. <laughs> them and they didn't answer so we might try to find them. Walking to the grocery stores and stuff, and we're going to get food. So there's a kitchen here, and figure out what we're going to eat for dinner. Yep. We're in New. What is it? New Market or New World? New World. Dude, they don't fridge eggs here. Isn't it so crazy? But these are free-range eggs. How awesome is that? We're at the very beginning, there's no signal here. And so the Able Tasman Coast Track. We're gonna make our way to our campsite, which is about seven miles and along the coast. We got to the, we walked a little bit to a place called Stess Lookout. And this is the view. Beautiful. Look at this. There's a cute little bench. Lots of view. How are you feeling? I'm okay. It's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> we are taking a break. We're a little bit more than halfway or maybe halfway there. Almost three-fourths there. Yeah, three-fourths there. Shoulders killing me. Feet killing me. So we found this tiny rock <laughs> and um, that rock right there to <laughs> take a break. Scenery. Great scenery. The trees are in the way. <laughs> what time is it? I feel like we're very close. We're not at the beach anymore. But there's so many trees. It's pretty cool. Okay, we're so close. Yeah, it's so far. Okay, it's so beautiful down there. Okay, we kind of made it. We have a couple more walks left to get to the campsite. Made it! My feet are killing me. This 
3.10. It is 3.10. And what time are we leave? 10.45. 10.45 and it is 3.10. It took us six hours to get here. No, five. Four and a half. It's supposed to take like four. Their estimate, estimation was pretty good. Yeah, it hurts. Jenny versus nature right now, for real. <laughs> But it's nice because we're like right next to the water. Uh. Update on Jenny versus nature. There's no filtered water here. Well, there is, but it's um, not working right now. And they said that you have to treat your own water or boil it. We don't have a filter. And we don't have a boiler. So I'm making the water my bladder. My my bladder. Water bladder. <laughs> it lasts as long as I could. Um, eating this apple is really helpful. And it looks like Michelle is about to start setting up the, the tent. Take notes, everybody. Wow. Lovely camper. I want let us almost about to boil. They let, it, they let us boil the water. Right, Michelle's about to put up the camp. Or the tent. Okay, so, um, got lost in conversation here, but um, here's Michelle's. <laughs> here's Michelle's tent. She put it down. So do you just like poke it in the ground? Um, I haven't yet. I mean, you can like move it, but I don't usually stick it down because we're gonna have like our packs in there and it's just gonna hold the whole tent down. Okay. And it's super heavy. I mean, our packs. Are heavy. Hurry, 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 I wanna see. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Interesting. So if it rains, then you won't get wet. What's the guarantee of it, you not getting wet? Oh, if you're inside, like 100%. Unless you have a hole in your tent, which I have <laughs> The tent? This struggle with the pack, man. Oh, man. Okay, moving this aside. Jenny blow up for sleeping pack. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> We're in this tiny tent. <laughs> it says to blow up for like a minute or so, but I think she's been blowing for like three minutes. <laughs> this is definitely not a minute. <laughs> oh, Jenny versus nature update. I'm in the tent. It is around five something, almost six. Sun is still up. Doesn't look like it'll be setting soon debating if I want to go into the water because it's, I don't want to dry myself off and um, yeah, no signal, yep, it's like literally me in nature right now, I'm on my blown up little airbed thing and yeah. That is clear. That is some clear stuff going on. Oh, that's so crazy how you can like see your feet. Why is the water so clear? It is 9.34 a.m. We woke up around 7 something. And we just put away the tent. This is what it looks like out here. And we're about to leave soon to make it back by three or four.
three or four. I survived, guys. Everybody, I am alive. Gonna beat everybody on that Fitbit challenge. Yeah, gonna be everyone on the Fitbit challenge. I've walked 10 miles here, so. <laughs> this is our morning view. Oh, dang. It is 2.24 and we are taking a break. And we're almost there, almost. This is our break view. We basically made it to the end over there. All this water was not here yesterday. So it's pretty cool. Do your hips hurt? Yeah. Hips are so <laughs> bruised right now. Battle with nature, wounds everywhere. Seriously, and lots of pain. But we're walking to our hotel, our hostel, which is called Aurora Backpackers. Going to put the through here. Glasses and wait for the dynamite. And he was a pretty genius at what he did. Because he just put it all the dropping and never get a vehicle through. Made it to the Punakaiki campsite. Look, there's like no one here. This is our tent. Yep, we're gonna go on some good walks soon. Uh, we're walking to the Pancake Rocks now. just entered the Pancake Rock Trail. It is 20 minutes. to enter the Punakaiki Cavern right there. We're going to check this out. Whoa. That's it? <laughs> <laughs> We've been so long for she here. I know. I'm trying New Zealand's favorite hokey pokey ice cream for the first time. And it's pretty good. It's like Crunch. Vanilla ice cream. We're going back to the pancake rock for high tide. <laughs> <laughs> because we're bad at planning. <laughs> Just kidding. Canoeing or kayaking. <laughs> we're kayaking. <laughs> she's trying to get, she's trying to get her camera back, but it's been like 10 minutes. <laughs> Bushes. Oh yeah, look at this. Cool. Okay, we, should try. we made it to this area where 
it's like so shallow. So shallow right now. And Michelle's gonna check out that piece of land. Look at Michelle. <laughs> it is so shallow. She's pushing her, her kayak to a, a deeper end. This is so silly. Put a whole bunch of water on myself to prevent some bugs. But that's where our end of the top part is. Now we're gonna go down to the lagoon. Currently in our tent, it is around, it is like what, 8? I have no idea. It is 8.30, still bright as heck outside, see? And we're eating dinner! <laughs> Look at my dinner! I cooked it this morning. So delish, what are you eating? Um, sweet bread. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Amazing. Still in Kulakaihi, woke up early to do the truth and truth. And look at that. All the mountains are covered with trees. It's crazy. We finally got to the car park after an hour. Look at this. The stream is so cool. And the water looks so cool. walk to the lake and there is a cafe here a gift gallery and we're about to start the walk look at all the cows the start of our track it says it's going to take about an hour and 30 minutes to walk the whole thing so I mean we made it all the way here so might as well walk the whole thing Got a mini suspension bridge. Glacier. 
I never recorded what the hostel looks like. We're about to leave Fox Glacier and it's raining like crazy. And we're gonna make our way to Queenstown. Just going across the Quarry River, the Quarry Jet, because along this road. So, but don't, don't leave it until the last second, though. I'm sitting in here in the Great New Zealand. We just stopped on our first lookout for the Milford Sound Tour. The largest, third largest in the country, but Lake Tiania. This is the uh, largest lake in the South Island. We're at Lake Tiania, and this is the stop before they, the bus driver takes us to Milford Sound. I'm walking around. This is the um, main street with all the restaurants and everything, and I'm making my way to the lake. Um, this is the largest lake in southern in the Southern Island. So, it would be really cool to see. It's beautiful. Our break is only 35 minutes, so we have to get back on the bus. Down the back, skip. Polly. So I do a bit of guiding, so I've got some umbrellas on it, but they don't work too well in the wind. So Queenstown Street and we want to eat at Ferg Burger but my stomach feels uneasy so I don't think I can get a burger. But look at how cute this little town is. Burger. 